Alright everybody, welcome back. So as you can see, uh, today we're gonna be updating our little thumbnail because, you know, well, Motfart needs a thumbnail. <laughs> Instead of the old-fashioned bum man that uh, needs to have some uh, better equipment, needs to have some better thumbnails, so... Uh, let's pick up a thumbnail so that we have the right, uh, uh, uh how do you say that? Uh, the right length. Yeah, there you go. I did it myself. So, I'm just gonna pick up this thumbnail because that's the easiest one to go for, and then, you know, we know then. Uh, once we have that thing up and loaded, we can then go to create a new file, and then that should be the same size, right? Nope, it does not work like that. Why does it not work like that? I have no idea. Oh, um, one second. It's not very handy dandy. Now I can see now I can see the white, the width and the uh, length. So it's the width is two eight zero and then the la and then the hive is gonna be seven twenty. Alright, well we we will do that. Seven twenty and then we press create. And this should create the amount of uh, we we should create now the same uh, the same amount as the other one before. So now we have both on the same size. We have both the thing. We have both that. Now we don't need this. Uh, we do need this one, but we also need the Morpho project to see ourselves the idea that we need. So for this kind of thing, I'm gonna be probably using a little style that normally is you know representing the art style that is Tony. So. One sec, please. There you go. So now we have the Morphog. This is the Morphog, so this is how the detail looks. Alright, good. So, uh, we're gonna save this as... Um, Morphog thumbnail. Morphog thumbnail. I believe that's how you spell it. It's all caps, I don't care, really. I don't I don't mind. It's uh, it's a thumbnail. I believe five is not uh five is decent. Five is decent. Good. Because if I go for eight that would be too much if I believe so myself. Yeah, that would be too much. But could be useful. Could be useful, very useful. So I'm gonna be doing some sketching. Um, so what would you want to draw? Uh, let's see how this works. All right, so that's how it looks. So we're gonna go for like. Yep, and that's oh, oh, come on. I'm not good at uh, drawing symmetric. I still need to learn that a little bit. Oh well, it's still sketching, so no need to be worrying about anything. Um. Come on. Let's need a little bit smaller, so we should definitely move the come on. There you go. It's a long it's a long base, so it should be All right. 
right. That's the idea. And then. How much does it have? It has two hands. All right, good. <coughs> So the big should be like so. The big is small, right? Yep, the big is very small. This is gonna be looking so derpy. Oh well. It's not like I can do anything about it. I just need to fix some stuff. So therefore we do it like so. And we're just updating, you know, the regular stuff. So this thumbnail is gonna be just a mothog. I'm trying to represent a mothog correctly, so use the same effects. Oh, it has three. It has three. All right, good. Yes, it has long claws, so it should be like this. Well, it does have these. Yep, it does have that. And does have the. Yes, it does have the Christy. Well, it does not have them pointing out in the back. So it should be like this. This looks so derpy though. This looks so fucking derpy. <laughs> it's not even funny.
Well, it explains a lot. You know, it explains why this thing looks so looks like a big giant chicken with 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 claws. So, oh well. Oh hey space junk, the video killed the radio star. <laughs> oh no, not don't 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 tell me don't tell me that you know my whole my whole vo my whole voice is literally racked up. Uh, it should not be, should not be, should not be. Well, it doesn't. Uh, nope, it does not. It is, it is, it is all fine with the mic. Oh thank God. <laughs> but uh, oh my God. Oh, this is so horrible. <laughs> I think I will. I think I will go for the idea that I wanted to go for in the first place. So I still need to draw this effect, and then um, we're gonna go for the effect that we and that I want to go for. Um. So this, and then go for the wings. I'm not gonna be using. I'm not gonna be using uh, cool looking effects. I'm gonna be use a shading. I'm gonna use a shadow one version of this instead of the original uh, full color of this because holy shit, the cartoon version of this is like so much less less impressive than the Morphok itself because of how the Morphok looks. And I think I will go for a little bit less squared head. I will go for a little bit more flatted head. So there you go. Now we have the Morphog showing up, and I think I even need to Im uh, need to even make him bigger. So the idea um, the idea is gonna be very funny. So there you go. So the idea is that Bomman is trying to steal one of the crystals, like you know, on a on a branch, like. So, like the branch, be the branch like so. There you go. And then Bomberman is gonna be trying to get this, trying to get, trying to get, you know, this crystal um, with his hands, like. So like this big giant crystal, he tries to, he tries to get it, get it, uh, get it, uh, get it from the, uh, get it out of the, out of the, out of, out of the, out of the place. So he tries to get this crystal, uh, like so, crystal. He's trying to pull it. So he's trying to pull. He's trying to pull this, uh, like, like so. Now I need to get a good impression on this, so... Um, hmm... No, that's not the right one. That's not the right, <laughs> right one to go for. So I need to get, like, a very uh, tough one impression, like... Uh, and sweating on the head, like... Uh, just trying to pull the thing to... Get up, like. like something like that. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not like that. Maybe I should have already have it on on his head, and then he looks up. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's. I think that's a far better idea. I think that's a far better idea, so he needs to have this thing on his back, like carrying it on his back, and then when he finally has it on his back, he sees this big giant shadow rising from the part, and he's like, wait, what, what just happened? And he's like looking at it, mm. uh, wait, hold on. So can I go for this kind of effect? Probably. Sketching. So much fun. And then he's like, oh. 
Oh shit. And then if we then implement that, like he's trying to catch this, uh, try to take this crystal, and then you know he this thing shows up. Um, so now the idea is like if I then go for something like this, and then go for a full uh, black, yeah. So the idea is that we're gonna go for this kind of approach. Don't worry, I will fix it later, but. The idea is that we're gonna go for this kind of approach. That shady shadow. So this, and then go for that. And then go for this, and this should be definitely on the background. So this should be on the background of this. So what I'm thinking of, that I'm going to be illuminating the uh, background a little bit, so we're going to go for this kind of effect, and then go for yes, and then allow me to just get some lighting in there, because, you know, birdie bird, I like giving angry birds always the cool looking effect, so, um, there you go. Now I can put it back in, and then go like, yes, like that kind of effect. And then I need to get this thing, uh, I need to get this into a filter, and then the I, I guess that's the effect that we want, so we want to go for a bluff. We don't want to go for, yeah, we want to go for a motion filter, and we want this motion filter to be going uh, not downwards, we want to go upwards and then heavy amount, so we want to go like yes, like so so if we then uh, remove the uh, uh, if we then put everything back together yeah, look at that look at that, that is that's some cool looking creepy pasta that's coming up right in front of your face yes Exactly how I planned it. <laughs> yes, uh, so that's exactly how the Marfog is going to be representing. So, uh, probably going to be adding some more details towards the uh, part. So, I'm going to be putting this into motion. So, yeah, that's the idea. We're going to go for the Marfog and then we're going to be putting some more effort towards the uh, part that we have. And then, once that is all done. Can go for that. So there you go. So he's trying to steal. He's trying to steal this crystal, and then you know you you get you get you get you get the point. So now, if I now look at this, oh, that looks lovely. Well, we're gonna add some more call towards this. Um, um, and we can properties this to a little bit lower. There you go. Alright, so if we now remove all of this, we can just get the painting done when we want to do it. Probably, oh, there you go. Oh. And then we can just get this thing up and running properly. And then we finally have the Morphog probably solved like really quickly. So this thing is gonna show up on the branch. That branch is gonna be like what? And then <laughs> he's gonna get he's gonna get shredded. Hmm. Bowman is not in the right place to see this thing up and running coming, right? 
No, he is, but he only sees the shadow coming, so we should definitely move this shadow. With the drawing itself, we should move it downwards. Oh, we should move it um, in the same map. There you go. And we should move this a little bit to the side, like so. No, that's not how it works. Why is this not working? Uh, oh, I'm moving Bowman instead. That's not the person that I want. And that's not the person I want. I want this thing. Yes, I want this thing. I want this thing to be moved. So we want this thing to be summoned. Like so. And now, uh, we should also add some more. There you go. And this thing should definitely move a little bit more that way. Now that we have the Morphog a little bit more better detailed, we can now add some more feature uh, futuristic effects to it to give it a little bit more, you know, lineage instead of <laughs> being totally, totally just uh, a thing. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna add some more stuff to it. And hopefully that will fix a lot of stuff. Hmm. Yes, I wanted to do that. But why can I not remove this? Is that on this one? Oh, it is. Well. Alright. Now we're gonna... Uh, <laughs> we need, now we need to go back here. And then we need to... Now we need to get this thing up and running properly. So, um, now we're gonna add the art style towards whatever we need, and whatever we need right now is the art style of the original Angry Chicken, because that's how this art style is gonna be looking. So we need this kind of art style. Uh, now the quick question is, how did I do this? I did do this with... what kind of drawing? Did I do use these ones? What did I use? This one, right here. No, absolutely not. So did I even move? Did I even move downwards towards 3.7 then? With this, yes, I do. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Artstyle. I like that. I like that. that I do that. All right. Now, since we do have this effect on it, and we can uh, add some eyes to it, I will. No, yep. that eye is way too big. That eye should definitely be fixed. So that eye should be. That eye should be definitely going like this. No, oh, wait, a little more sharper. There you go. And then this should definitely go like so. Because how does the angry chicken work? Ah, the angry chicken works like that. Awesome. So I will do implement especially that change of the angry chicken as well on this one. So what I'm going to be doing is not going to be going for a full shadow. So I'm not going to go for a full shadow figure. I'm going to go for the uh, partially shadow figure. So. So if I go for this one, that should work, right? No, I should definitely move this one up a bit. Hmm. 
and then this is too little yep and then this it needs to be a little bit more expanded I can fix that don't worry yeah. this is why you know sketching is very important most of the times Yes, all right, excellent. We can now deselect. Hmm. So now we need to actually move this to be more. So if we then, there you go. Much better. All right. Um, now, what we need to do is actually add some better wings towards this. But we do want this to be not in a sketching phase. We do need to have this on a different phase. So we're gonna go move. Now we're gonna move downwards. So um, since that the angry chicken, for instance, has like a clear, distinct uh, head and torso per, per uh, piece. This should definitely have that same effect. So this this line right here is very important. These lines right here. I should definitely get this thing up. I should definitely get this down towards so yes this might look a little bit strange but it's necessary to get this thing up and running properly and I should definitely cancel this one out and this one out so that I don't get confused with the lines so the idea is that we're gonna go uh, not fully black but uh, some pa partially black so that this effect can get in place There you go. Hmm. This is very strange. Seems like I cannot press them hard enough, right? No, I can't. But I can do what all people can do, and then go for this. Yes, exactly how I thought it would be. All right. So now we can oop, get this thing up and running. So how does this thing rise? Yeah, that looks decent. For the half mark, right? Well, there's more, it's a little bit more different, but it, it's the same, it's the same effect. So now we should go for this effect. There you go. Now we should also get this one to come arise. So this one should also go for this. And then boop, boop, boop. It's one strange-ass looking bird, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Malfog. Damn. Well, that's what you get when you combine a Malf with a Hawk, of course, but... Damn. It looks strange. Well, you know, it looks strange because it's not very natural to have, like, a Malf combined with a Hawk and have this kind of effect to it. So this looks like the Morphog already, because that is indeed a Morphog, if you look at how it works. Um, we should definitely move then the hat a little bit up, because that's how this works, so... Move this hat up, because I need to have this hat a little bit up towards here. Yes. I need to have like a swan neck. Swan neck. There you go. Of course, then the shading should also go upwards because that's how this works. And we can add, we can add it the shading a little bit later on. So don't worry about it too much. Uh, hold on. Do we need to go for this kind of effect? Probably. Yes, right. So we have the head, which is right over here. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Excellent. All right. I am almost done with the bloody damn half mark. So he looks now magnificent. He's like a big giant bird that just came out of the sky and be like, surprise, I rule here. And then the bomb is like, mm, well, ah, that's a problem. You know, when you have this lovely, when you have like lovely quests and you totally get wrecked by, you know, a high level monster, it's, it's always fine. It's always great. Nope. Almost. Then we're gonna go for this. And it's always important to update, you know. It's lovely to have like the half mark being actually working well. It feels a little bit like a swan, but uh, it's a great moth already. I like already how this thing is going to be looking like. And I believe, you know, once once the thumbnail is fully done, I guess, you know, everybody will know. Alright, he looks exactly at the bomb, but not with this eye, so it should be with both eyes. It should be with both eyes, which is important. We need both eyes to be locking on the target. There you go. Now both eyes look at the target. And then I should go for... Mm, that is ugly as hell, that neck. He needs to have a tick neck. That's that's the main problem with the Morphog. Yeah, well, he has no neck. Most is just, you know, the body. So technically this is a very short neck, which is logical for the Morphog itself. But then it has more um, feathers. Let's put it that way. 
so he needs to be a little bit more bloated. Alright, so how do the feathers work with the Malfog? The Malfog feathers are actually quite easy to uh, notice. As you can see, the, uh, the Malfog feathers are quite, you know, one way. So, I should definitely put that one way in there. So, it's a one way uh, feather bracket. So, it's like. And then how, and then they have like such, uh, and then he has such a neck. There you go. Uh, hoop. So this is the motherfucking neck, right? Eh. A little bit on the side, but needs a little bit more chewy on this one, on this part. So yes, we're gonna give the Morfog the effect of the shadow going upwards, but we're also gonna make sure that we have the full drawing of the Morfog to represent it. So... Uh, it's hard to do your own drawing and then, you know, make a tune out of it. It's sometimes really hard. Um, so how does this work? This works like that, that works like so. So yeah. And then that goes down, way down. All right, cool. All right. I'm just following the casual instructions of my own drawing. Nothing to be really ashamed of. Um, though I should move this part a little bit upwards because a little bit upwards because technically the um, there still needs to be a room for the uh, legs. So yeah, like so. And then this should definitely still be like so. That should be the same, that should be the same. This, this, uh, this one actually should no, this one doesn't need that. The Malfog is like so, so yes, it should be like that. So I'm just drawing the Malfog itself. Then this one should also have the same effect. So this should definitely be like so. And this should then go back into the and then this should be going back into there. Oh, Jesus. Why am I such a such a hard customer to please? I always wondered that. Why do you draw? Why do you draw yourself getting attacked by world by world wildebeest? Because that's the whole joke about this bomb. He always gets in trouble. That's the whole. That's the whole main joke. That's the whole main joke about this bomb. Which actually makes me. Uh, which which makes me very happy to see him getting attacked. Because I really like having just a, this this guy, you know, his whole is really really trying to do his very best to be cool and nice, but you know, not everybody likes it, and most beasts and most animals don't like him getting you know their stuff stolen while he's trying to just help some guy to help some other guy, you know, doing getting his his stuff done. 
Alright, how did I do the explosive chicken here? I just drew I just drew the uh, the thing so I'm not supposed to do maximum party. I'm not supposed to do maximum party here. Because the explosive chicken didn't have needed to have that. What I do need to do is um get this thing done like so and then get there like that yes all right so the explosive chicken works like so um so then that should also work the same way so eh all right i can do this so instead of you know the oop Come on. So now that is actually quite problematic. That lag has been placed way. This lag need actually to be placed way down, right? Yeah, way down. Way down. We do. These legs need to be placed. We do. All right. Hold on. Uh, so they, I I knew there was something uh, something fishy going on, and I was not talking about the rotten fish. All right. All right. There you go. We're almost getting there. We're almost getting there. We're almost done drawing the blood in a more fucking into a comic kind of effect, which is quite great. Um, so the Morphox leg should be then over here, right? But they should be spread it out, so they should be big, because that's how this works. So there you go. And then this should also go that way. Because that's exactly how this Morphog works. Yeah. It does make him less impressive. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But... Hmm. No, you should then move that way. Yes. Otherwise, he will look like he's standing, which he's not. He is actually flying. So therefore, both legs should be inwards, not outwards. There you go. Now we have that. I can then add the whole damn thing there. And now we need to actually make sure that this thing, uh, this belly is correct. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna give the belly an old f belly rub. Um, so yes, exactly like that. So boop 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 boop. boop, boop. Then again. Boop 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 boop. Then again. Boop. I'm getting there. I'm getting better at this. Don't you worry, getting better at drawing tunes. Also very important to learn drawing tunes. Well, drawing the toony effects on it. But yeah, it's very important for me to learn how to do this because, you know, I want to be improving upon myself and I cannot do that once, you know, I'm not doing it correctly. Of course, I need to draw right over here, 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 and again, boop, boop, boop. and then boop, boop, boop. smaller. So yeah, this might look a little bit strange. I get it. I know exactly what you're talking about. This this drawing looks already really strange, but it is a mafog. So now we have implemented that there is a line, that there is a baseline here, which is good. 
because that's what we wanted. We wanted to make sure that this baseline is keeping up with the parts that we want. Now we actually need to make sure that that thing is actually fully encased by the rest of the uh, drawing. So we should definitely keep up with the texturing of this thing. Uh, I totally forgot about that part. Blech. I totally forgot about that part that I don't like, which is the legs that I should... If I, next time I will draw a Malfoc, I will not draw legs with them, because it feels so strange to draw these legs and then realize, like, ah, well... There you go. Now I have a good implementation on those legs. Um, all right, these legs, very cool. Uh, angry chicken, yes. Then I need to have secondary uh, wings of feathers that need to be drawn in to represent the feather layering, which does exist on this bird. So yeah, secondary wing parts up and running. And once we're done with that, we can then finally get to the part that we need to draw. And I believe I know exactly what I'm going to be doing with the um, with uh, the background because uh, if I'm correct, I can go for the Ingrid Chicken fire up. Ooh, come on, uh, firing up, open, please. Thank you. Web PNG. Thank you. So if we look at the firing up image which is an image that, you know, has this uh, moving upward spot. I want to use that as well on this Malfoc because then I can use this effect and I can show you what I mean. This kind of effect is going to be happening. So then I have the whole, the whole damn scenario going upwards. So I can actually gain some good shape. Um, I should move the head a little bit downwards. There you go. And I should move this part a little more to that side. Yes, I definitely should, because this is the part that needs to be drawn again. So there you go. Now that thing looks cool. Now that thing looks like a bloody damn motherfuck. Oh yeah. So yeah, I think um, I think uh, adventurers doesn't don't like this thing showing up on uh, you know on. Uh, on, on parties because well it's a bloody damn motherfuck. It's not it's not nothing special but it's a motherfucker on the last. It's definitely something. And then you know this is exactly what I mean. Shikablam kabloom. Alright. Straight to the straight moon. All right. So now we have that thing right here. We need to have the tail, which is like a big, big giant sluggy thing. Well, it's a big, it's a big long tail, so it should definitely move like this. Yeah, it should. All right. Now we have the Malfog drawn almost, uh, the wings not yet, uh, I need to move these things a little bit down, and we need to move these wings a little bit that way, and then that should fix it, because I can overdraw them quite easily. Cancel Bowman out because I don't need him now. All right. I still need to implement implement this thing as st static. So yes, I will go for the static lightning uh, red charge, which implements with the eyes. So. I'm very happy that I went with red eyes because you know red eyes, red electricity, duh. Um, so yeah.
and this should work. Now we can actually see the Mofok itself, and the Mofok itself has these lovely static effects in its uh, feather uh, placement. So if we want to do that, we can also do that quite easily. Um, we need to give it the effect that we want. Oh, alright, the Mofok actually has good wings. <laughs> well, with good wings, I mean really, really, uh, really wings that I need to redraw. God damn it. Well, we're gonna draw we're gonna draw them on a second layout because reasons. Very good reasons. Um Because that's how the Malfuck works. The Malfuck is a big chungus of a boy, and uh well you know We should keep fine with the Malfuck it's a fa uh in indeed a cool looking effect which we need to draw which are the wings and the wings are looking like this um, no I need to draw them a little bit different a little bit different here I need to draw that like uh, so yes Technically, I should have drawn it that way, but uh, well, you know what? Fuck it! I will draw it the way that the motherfuckers are represented. Even though you know it might look a little bit strange, but because all these feathers are statically charged, it doesn't matter that much. All right, like so. That's one wing. How many? One, two, three, four. Uh. Five, six, seven. Around seven. Now, I don't need to do exactly that, but it would be a good. It would be good if we keep it that way. So we should definitely move. We're get, still gonna keep the line. Well, we're gonna remove the lines a little bit, but boom. There you go. We're not gonna go in depth with these things, but we're gonna definitely draw them. So I'm just gonna be drawing three of them to keep it simplistic for myself and for everybody else's sake. Because that's. And now it does already look a little bit more like the Malfoc itself because of the texture it has, and, and then you have the big giant, the big guy. So, uh, how does this thing work? This thing actually works the same way. Alright, well, fine. Fine with me. There you go. All right. Uh, wow, that thing looks already way different. <laughs> We're different than when where we started with it, and I must say myself, I'm very happy upon how it looks. Don't get me wrong, but holy hell, it takes a lot of time to figure out, like you know, how things will look once you draw it and do a different art style. Or how you draw, like, this is a totally different art style than I'm usually doing. Well, it's one of my art styles, but it's totally different than the art style that um, I'm using with the Morphog. Which, of course, creates a little bit more variety and more ch uh, different challenges with it. For instance, I had, like, a lot of trouble figuring out, like, where and how I can put the Morphog down. Or how I should represent the Morphog. Because I was a little bit afraid, like, oh well, I'm using heavily amount, I'm using heavily, uh, heavily detailed uh, drawing, and then creating a tune out of it. It's like a way different kind of effect, and uh, it is a way different kind of feeling than uh, drawing just from tune to tune. Because, well, you know, it's also a thing that that can, that can happen. So now we have the drawing of the line art, which represent this one 
now we have both the drawing and the line art and we have this one so now we have both the drawing and the line art which means that we can now see what we need and what we don't need um i'm gonna go for who i'm gonna go for non-destructive or am i gonna go for destructive uh, i'm gonna go for destructive this one Then I'm gonna go for destructive on this side, where else I'm just gonna go casually removing the lines that we don't need. Alright. And then tomorrow I will probably finish it off, because you know I can. Um, probably I'm gonna do it off uh, off screen because you know my uh, nephew is coming and uh, well you know <laughs> need to spend some time with nephew so not gonna be uh, you know doing anything else then or oh, well at least you know I'm not gonna be uh, not gonna be doing a lot of work if I well I'm not gonna get things done once I'm not doing it correctly so yeah I'm gonna be working uh, on this in the in the in the background. But I will get it done. Don't get me wrong. I will get it done. I just really, really, really need to do this because I really want to make. Uh, I really want to make this uh, thumbnail like you know all the other thumbnails. So I want it to look like you know a thumbnail. I don't want it to be looking like a thumbnail that has like something else. So yeah. The big giant bird is gonna get a thumbnail, and uh, I want this bird to be cool because you know it's a, it's a mafog. Come on, everybody loves the mafog, so it would be a real shame if the mafog wouldn't get a cool thumbnail. And that's why you know I'm doing this because I really like the thumbnail, and it always creates new challenges, which I really am very fond of because they they create some t issues that I'm like always having with. Oh well, I'm always dealing with, and then I'm like, oh, I can solve it like that. Oh, thanks. That actually works really well. That's actually very helpful. Well, you know, looking in the background and be like, oh, well, if I use it like that, well, then this actually is solved. All right. If we now look at this, do 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 that is a big boy that's a long big boy I like it and the Malfoc has such long long biceps on it sadly it is like a little bit too small so I will improve upon that because you know we want to we want it to be a little bit more chicken like because well mafog and we want to make sure that the chicken looks a little bit more chicken so that's why we're gonna do it like that chicken be more chicken very important chicken very important this might look a little bit sketched but ugh. it's the best I can do right now All right, so the bomb is looking at the bomb is looking at the big giant. The bomb is looking at the bird and be like, "Oh well, um, it's oh, well, crap," you know. That's exactly the response of the bomb. He's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be fucked. He's gonna be really screwed. And that because he just wanted to complete a quest. And that's because he just wanted to complete a quest, and he's gonna get his ass whooped. Anyhow. Um, let me just see, uh, what, oh, what, what, already two, one hour in, all right, farm, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, this was the thumbnail of it, and, uh, um, I cannot wait for finishing this off tomorrow, and I hope uh, you all enjoyed, and, uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye!